Hey guys, welcome back to Stindy Games. Today we're looking at a game called Retro Pixel Castles. It's a lot kind of like towns. It's pixel based. So the art, as you can see in the background, is all pixely. It's kind of like a, a, a town building game. You build a village slash town. You have to manage your villagers, get them food, resources, help them defend their lands against some of these evil guys in the background like ghosts. Ooh, ooh. Ghosts or slimes. Or another ghost. Or, you know, whatever. All kinds of stuff. So we're going to jump in. It's super early access at the moment, but it looks like they're updating it very quickly. And it's got a lot of really positive reviews on Steam. So it's not too expensive right now. It's like about £10, which admittedly is kind of steep for what it is. But there's the promise that it's early access and the game's going to change a lot. It looks really, really fun, though. So let's jump in. Welcome to the world map. Start playing and select a region you'd like to visit by clicking on the dots. Be warned, you only start off with about 50 villagers, so choose wisely. Can't effectively expand into other regions until you have more villagers. For now, try and stick to only a few regions. We're going to stick with one. And me being the traditionalist that I am. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait. Right, so this is a flat earth. In uh, <laughs> retro pixel, pixel uh, castles. Fair enough. We're going to pick one of the grassy zones, because it's very traditional. I don't know what this area is. Black Sands, there's the beach. We could go to the beach, that might be fun. There's also North Orc, Outlands, Wirt Castle. I want to go somewhere nice and green. Somewhere that looks like it's got lots of open space. Now, there are, there are a few resources that we need to gather and consider. There's wood, which is like trees. There's rock, which is stone and mountains. And uh, there's also crystals. This area right here looks really picturesque. It says narrow path, but this seems quite big. There's water there if we need it, and it's quite defensible from monsters and evil dudes. But wait, this area is a bit bit darker green. What about this area here? This is nice picturesque green. Oh yeah, hang on a sec. What about the quiet forest? This is perfect. If I wall up there and there, got ourselves a perfect little area here to do our thing. Let's go to the quiet forest. Villagers none. Monsters none. Perfect. Let's visit. Now you can see here, villagers are the important thing in this game. We've got 42 villagers in limbo and none in the world at the moment. 20 are male, 22 female, and two of them are children. So let's do it. Let's jump in. Right, okay. Now the game is super tricky because oh wow this is the, this is a perfect area look at this place this is beautiful but also quite tricky you want to use things like rocks and trees to your advantage when you um, when you plan out your area because you're going to want to wall yourself in to defend against evil dudes now what's this down here grass ancient radiance pool I'm not sure where to put our thing. Now, this is where villagers come from. You can spawn them in from limbo using an ancient callus gate, but if you do it too much, they explode. First thing you should do is put your village center down. Good starting location should have some rocks, trees, crystals, and food. Right, so these are crystals. All shiny and stuff. That's food. I think it's carrots. So here is about good, right? It's perfect, surely. Yeah, and we've got, like, quite defensible. We can use this as a big wall. There's a big forest. Right about here is perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, this is a big village centre, so this is the perfect place, I think. Should we go plonk? All right, sweet. Oh, and these are our dudes spawning in. Look at these scumbags. Understaffed. So as our villagers come in, we need to make sure they have something to do. Right, so our, our village centre is understaffed. We need to put some dudes in it. How do you put dudes in it? Well... What's this? Ah, right, so as I click up, the current en route workers goes up, and we've got 24 dudes in there. Cool, okay, so they're working hard to build the village center, and pretty soon that'll be, uh, that'll be complete. Informa- problem panel, uh-oh. There there's no harvested food, and there are no homes! Five villagers are confused. Nine villagers are outside of the village. One is, 32 are homeless! They're all homeless, aren't they? Unless they're staying in the village center. Right, okay, so if they're homeless, let's build some homes. 
Defense, harvesting, refining, farming, aid, manufacturing, housing. Do we want tents, hovels, or shacks? I don't know. Let's start with a couple of tents to keep it super simple. So we're gonna... Gonna splash some tents down here, I think. That looks good to me. And now, are these gonna get built automatically? Are we gonna get villagers come over here to, to build them? Yeah, they're doing that. Okay, so we're gonna have homes pretty soon. We've got the village center. Now, we're also gonna need food. So let's build ourselves a farm. Small farm or a large farm? Yeah, a large farm, why not? And let's put it right close to the food. In fact, we might even have enough room for two farms. Or maybe a big farm and a small farm. Yeah, why not? Perfect. And that should get us loads of food because apparently food is a big problem later on. Right, so we have our homes down now, or at least one. We've got a tent at least. Uh, some villagers will claim it as their house. And the joke is on them because we are going to build some better houses now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with this game, disclaimer. So we're going to die probably quite fast. Let's put some upgraded houses right above the tents. So this is, this is like, you've got like the scum peasantry. Oh, no, that's really mean to say. But we've got like the, the lowliest of the low. But then if you work hard, if you uh, earn a lot of money, you can ascend to non-peasant and get yourself a small shack. And if you're absolutely amazing, you can become one of the lords of the land and live in the hovel up here. Bam. Hovel. Now, there's a building queue priority, and in fact, we should probably put all of our dudes to work. I know they all are working on, on everything, I guess. There's a building priority queue. Problem panel, what's this? No harvested food. Too many buildings are under construction. 26 villages are homeless. What do you mean too many buildings are under construction? Ah, some buildings require things like boards, stones, or crystals. The small shack you just tried to reclaim is one of them. Ah, oh, no. So we can't build the, uh, the non-peasant housing. What are we going to do, guys? You can refine most materials inside advanced work buildings like lumber mills and stone cutteries. Could build those. And too much work. Slow down. Don't try to build too much at once. You'll overwork your villagers and slow down your overall production. Try to keep it down to two or three buildings at a time. You can cancel or pause buildings before they're started by using the dismantle or pause button on the left-hand panel. All right, well, let's dismantle. Since we can't actually build these yet, let's dismantle that. Assign work. Rock, assign work wood, assign work crystal. But we can't assign work food. Oh, we can't do that until we get a farm. So that's pretty important. And we don't want these them gathering wood and rock until they've built the farm. Do we have enough raw materials, though? Resources. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I'm going to have to get some dudes out there do some wood chopping. So dig up these crappy trees here first because they're really in the way. And then I want you to go deep into the wooded territory there. Get that stuff. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now when you dig rock, because rock is pretty cool, I want you to dig some of this stuff down here. I also want you to get rid of, no, you can't get rid of these small stones. Is there any other rock nearby? We can get rid of, yeah, let's just get rid of the rock up here as well. It's not too far away, so it shouldn't vex them too much coming up here to do that. Okay, now they've got wood, they're actually finishing some of these buildings off. That's good to hear. We're going to have to be quick, because if people don't have places to live or food to eat, they die! Uh, and also, when they die, we need to replace them with babbies. So there are ten creatures in limbo, and these are villagers, so we can click on the gate... And I think we can drag out, not in range. It's not quite in range of us, so we can't drag out extra workers yet. But it shouldn't be an issue because we're going to have babies all the time. The whole game is like a balancing act of not making too many babies because your workers are dying and everybody needs somewhere to live, but making sure you have enough so that you d your workers don't die and you lose over time people. It's quite tricky, a balancing act but worth it and quite fun to kind of try and maintain. Okay, farm's almost there. There we go! Now it's got no workers, so we're gonna jump right in there and put four dudes in here, hard at work. And we're also gonna now mark this food here as food to be claimed. There are seasons in this game, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. 
and if you get to winter or even summer, food becomes much harder to grow. So you want to gather as much as you can over spring. Okay, let's read some tips. Oh, Lou Pallone is pregnant! Oh, Miss Pallone. Soon she will give birth to a new child who will eventually grow up to be another adult. Worker B. Pregnant villagers consume more food. Oh, really? I suppose that makes sense. And energy. And move around a little slower. So keep an eye on them. They're the rounder ones. So the farm's done. Sweet. But we're going to want, we're going to, want to make another farm, aren't we? That was the plan originally. So we're going to plonk a small farm near to this one. Probably just down here, I guess, then instead. And let's also build some other construction buildings so that we can get a hovel underway. So a lumber shack is super important for gathering wood. And the lumber's all up here. So we're going to put the lumber shack here. A mining facility. What does that do? Stores rocks. We're going to put that up here near the rocks. Sounds good. Now both of these need actual stone. So I guess the villagers are going to go and start gathering the stone that we need. Ah, right, that's why they weren't breaking rocks. Oh, there's Lou Pallone. Is that the babe? Wait, is that a corpse? Is that a baby? Oh, no, it's a mum and a baby. Look, she's got her in her arms. That is so cute. Elena Drake. Oh, my God, we have got a baby boom on our hands. Absolutely fine, though. So the two facilities are on their way to being built. Our second farm has been built. That's good news. Let's get another farmer. Or two. We never did find Tara Price. We will, though, one day. Maybe she's in a building. That could be it. Resurrect. Oh, so we can play favorites. And if somebody dies, we can play God. Bring them back to life. So these are our God tools. Spotlight. Banish. Banish your enemies. Distract. Distract villagers, sometimes luring them to the location. Motivate land. Let's try doing that. There we go. That's motivating the land. Puff. Grow! Okay, we've used up all of our whatever that was. So I don't know what's going on. But oh, yeah, look at that. I think the food is actually growing back super quick. Okay, let's just uh, make sure we're doing everything okay. These refineries are on their way to being built. Now, the lumber shack means everybody working here is going to get wood 24-7. So we want a couple of guys in here. And we want a couple of guys in the mine once they're done. Just so that we have a stockpile that's going to make speed building much easier and quicker. This is a really, really cool, fun game. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, guys. This started out as a Shindy Games. But we're going to keep going. I, want, I feel invested in this town. And I want to keep going until I fail hard and miserably. So let's take a look at our resources. Food, we have plenty of. Wood, we're also getting. And what's this? Silk. Have we got silk? It's a new one. The crystals are marked to gather, but unfortunately we don't have a building that can harvest them yet. So we will make a crystal harvestry. Oh my god, this thing's big. Might have to put it over here. Can't find a space. I think we're going to have houses down here by the farms. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, Polonki. No, I think uh, these are harvesting facilities. What we need is refining. So a stone cuttery will take the stone that we've made and make it into rocks. Put that up there. Okay, everything's looking okay so far. We've got a fair amount of builders. I feel like we're falling a little bit behind on the baby front, though. And we probably needed a few more tents than we have. Things are getting a bit intense. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these, uh... Not terrain, but the shacks. Nothing lost there. It's fine. And we're going to maybe add another few tents, because we want to get a big population booming. Right, these guys are starting to mine now because they need rocks. And I think it goes from red to yellow to green as the rocks are depleted. So fingers crossed pretty soon. There we go. Now we can put down the... We want the lumber mill there. That's right. Now I remember. Combat. Oh, James Sanchez is being attacked by a slime. Villagers do their best to defend themselves, but you can help. Use your godlike abilities on the spell bar on the bottom of the top to eventually... 
build defensive buildings like the bow tower and the firebolt tower, but for now... Yeah, okay, right, okay, so there's one big thing, one big tip that's really useful for you guys if you're playing at home. We're gonna need walls. And I really do mean we need walls. So, to get walls, the slime is coming from down here. Yeah, look at these guys! They're going crazy! Luckily, our guys can hold their own, I think. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, he's punching left and right. That's right, give him A and frickin' B. Boom, boom. Send that slime packing back to the slimy dimension. Oh, yeah, that's, and, and apparently villagers do heal around their homes. So when they go home, they'll feel much better? Question mark? Right, so where are we at? We've got a problem here. Rain. It's raining when we call your village's happiness to drop. Slow their movement, but it will increase crop growth and it's going to put out fires. Hope your fingers and cross your fingers and lightning bolts don't zap anything. Okay, that makes sense. Right, so where are we at? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. So we have 35 people. Oh, no, that's okay. 35 people in 48 houses. That's fine. Now, do we have... We have 16 builders all working pretty hard, still on these tents. Not quite sure why it's taken so long to build those, actually. I guess we have a problem with raw materials. Let's take a look. No, we got 10 wood. We got iron ore for some reason. We've still got silk. We're getting more and more silk. Loads of food. Food that we probably don't need. So I think we can... Oh, God, no. And you know! We could probably take away some farmers, I think. It's not a problem for us at the moment. Oh, man, I love this! I love this game! It's so cool! Now, I'm a bit worried about... Oh, wait, there's a gap there. That's gonna be a problem. Now, people haven't built the walls yet. I guess they'll get around to doing it when they're not busy. Night has arrived, and the monsters are restless! This could be bad for us. We're not prepared for this. And rude dudes are gonna come at us from everywhere now. We've got 37 people, 37 population. But we can have up to 66. We've got plenty of food, though, so I kind of wish they'd uh, get back to making babies. Bam! Peggy Poloni has been born, eh? Oh, no, Isabella's taking serious hits. But she's got a lot of friends here. That's right. Kick some caboose. Where are you going? Oh, I guess they're building the towers and stuff. But what's that? What's that resource on the right that we need? Crystal stores. Definitely want some crystals, then. But to finish our crystal harvestry, we need a stone cuttery in operation. It's going, and they're making stone, but not enough. Things are going to get pretty dire pretty soon. That's a zombie! Don't get bit. Everybody's leveling up to three. Oh, man, what? Hey, hang on a sec. Are they, are they doing that? They're wrecking the farm! Is there a way I can bring people down from... Oh, wait, what's going on up here? Can I bring people down to defend? Flame. There's an idea. I'm going to put down a magic torch. And I'm going to flame on some zombos as they come. Fire blast. Here we go. That's right. Get out of here, scumbag. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think I just exploded everybody. The bow tower is being damaged. It's not even built yet. It's on fire. If you have builders and structures in range, they'll automatically do their thing. Okay, well, let's get this guy before he gets in range of the thing. Didn't even take any damage. Oh, no. What a waste. What a waste of time and, and resources. No. No. A villager has died. Many things can kill your poor villagers, like monsters, starvation, freezing, or death. It was a zombie this time, though. You frickin' noob. Where is she? Where is her corpse? Take her to me. Let me... I will... I will bring light back into her life. What was her name? Isabel? Okay, this is it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna bring her back to life. Godly powers. Did it work? Didn't work. She's... She's... She's been taken from us. She's too far gone. No! Isabel! Ah, so people are growing up now, and we're actually getting real villagers. 42. We're in the middle of a real baby boom here, guys. 
Ah, a wooden wall has been completed. They are finally making some headway. Ah! That guy is running for his life. He is petrified. Save him! Somebody save Elizabeth! Yeah, get him! Get him, guys! She's low on health. Liz, no! The skeleton has loads of health. Is Liz still tanking it? No. No, she's okay. Oh, man. All right, this is looking good. And they're actually making serious work. Oh, there's a slime attack in the crystal harvestry. Don't do that. 43 people keep dying. This is terrible. Okay, where's the combat at? I need to make sure I heal these dudes. No, the lumber mill is under attack. The lumber mill is going to explode. No, how do I stop this? How have they broken through? Oh, they didn't finish the wall. The lumber work is about to explode. Oh my god! Where are my dudes? What are they doing? Why aren't they coming to the defense of, of, of my buildings? No. Cassie Drake was killed by a skeleton. No! At least it tells you every time somebody dies, but problem panel. Too many buildings are under construction. One villager died recently. Fourteen villagers are in combat. Whoa! Seven villagers are outside the village. Two are unhappy. Well, no crap. And three buildings are damaged. Eight monsters are in the village. No! Ah, oh, I don't know what to do, guys. I do not know what to do. I just don't know what to do! Every- Peggy Pallone! The Pallone family is single-handedly being wiped out by frickin' zombies. I don't know- I don't know what the fix is. Can I bring everybody back to the town center? Ten people are idle. That means they're supposed to be making babies, but I don't think they are. Maybe I need more people working. Maybe that was the problem. More people building more stuff. When I look at resources, we've got the wood. We... have the stones. And we've got plenty of food. I don't know what the deal is. Let's take people off the farm. Don't need any farmers. None at all. And let's take people... Oh, wait, the crystal harvest is done. Okay, so we'll put some people in there. This means we can start building cool stuff. We don't need anybody... Well, we probably do need people mining, because stones are important. We don't need people cutting stones anymore. So get out of there. Oh, look at the carnage here. Android 18. He died so young. And night has arrived. I think this is this is it. This could be where it goes wrong for us. The monsters are going to descend. We don't have any guard towers yet. You're supposed to have guard towers by now. We don't have any. No, guys! This is the demise of Stinville. Dan Drake. No one liked him anyway. I liked him. I liked him. I liked you, Dan. I loved you, Dan. I loved you. Oh, what's going on? What are we going to do? There's no way for them to get in up here. That's cool. Fantastic. And this way should be sealed off as well. Yet still they break in. They break in down the bottom. I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. Oh, they're wrecking the farm. We've got loads of food, though. Oh, this is a real issue. It's a real, real issue. 86 food. So in hindsight, one farm was plenty to get going with. I had no idea. I had no idea this was going to be such an issue. Okay, well, this has been uh, episode one of Retro Pixel Castles. It's a really cool game. Check it out. I'm going to keep playing because I'm hooked. I'm, I'm hooked like a sea bass on a mighty fishing rod out in the ocean. Like, there's, there's no coming back from where I am right now. This is so cool. I love just looking at, like, the little dudes and, uh, and watching them go through their day-to-day -day life. It's going to be great. I can't wait to bring this up and build up a really cool, epic town. So join me next time for more Retro Pixel Castles. Until next time, guys, take care.